Hey, hello everybody. I wanted to share with you some scripture this afternoon and a little devotional thought here. In Luke chapter 23, it's the chapter in Luke's gospel that deals with the crucifixion. And starting in verse 32, it says, Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, they were crucified uh, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments, and the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So how much faith do you believe that criminal had on the cross next to Jesus that said, remember me? When he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. How much faith did he have? He might have heard of Jesus. Maybe he heard, uh, maybe he was sitting um, sitting there in the crowd listening to some of Jesus' teaching at some time. We don't know. Just speculating. But the reality is he didn't have a lot of time to believe in Christ, did he? He didn't have a lot of time to grow in his faith, to be discipled. All we know is he had enough faith to believe, um, enough faith to to be saved enough faith to be born again as Christ said you'll be with me I wanted to encourage you all that it takes a little bit of faith for someone to believe a little bit of faith just enough faith for someone to believe and to be saved but there must be belief it has to be belief have you been encouraging others to believe, to put their faith in Christ as Lord and Savior? Um, I want to encourage you as this, as I read this this morning, and it was, it was new. <laughs> yes, I've read it before, definitely, but it was new again. That guy didn't have a lot of faith. That guy didn't ever walk the aisle that we know of, come down and kneel at the altar and repent of his sins and put his faith in Jesus as the closing hymn saying, you know. Really, I mean, he had no time for that. He had enough time to believe. So I want to encourage you you probably, like I do, have friends and family near you, people you love that don't have faith in Christ. I want to encourage you this Easter season to make a special effort to have um, on your mind those people. Be praying for them ahead of time, ahead of some family gatherings, ahead of Function, Easter functions. Maybe it's even somebody in your church that you sit near and you're not sure that they really have saving faith. Talk with them. Make certain that they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. That he's the Son of God who was beaten, was scourged, nailed to a cross died and was buried and was resurrected um, make sure people 
believe in that, trust in that. God bless you all. Um, May you keep pursuing um, closer fellowship with Jesus as we come closer to Resurrection Sunday. God bless you all.